because they typically last more than a couple of weeks. But now we're hearing of a potential cancer scare. Now, gel manicures actually start with like a regular manicure. You apply polish just like a normal one, but then your hands go under an ultraviolet light to set that gel in. That seals it. In total, your hand is actually under the UV light for about two minutes. Now, our doctor, dermatologist, Edit Olas, assistant professor of dermatology at the Medical College of Wisconsin is here, and we appreciate you being with us, Dr. Olas. Yeah, thank you. And you know, a lot, you know, a lot of women are talking about this. It, this, some of this news came this week. What would you like to say to women to put their minds at ease over the gel manicures? Well, this is the rare occasion, Carol, when a dermatologist says the UV light is not that dangerous in this particular situation. Okay. And let me explain to you why. There are two kinds of UV lights actually that uh, salons use. One is a fluorescent light and one is an LED light. The LED light is somewhat less dangerous. Both lights are using UVA lights. The LED is a visible light, which is close to UVA. We know that UVA light is indicated in the uh, development of melanoma. That's the type of light which tanning uh, salons use. Okay. Also, UVA light really causes premature skin aging, wrinkling, and degradation of collagen. In addition, it also causes some color changes. But the interesting and very important data is that these light bulbs, which are used in jail uh, curing, are very, very weak so they don't emit as much power uh, as in tanning salons. Okay so a woman should not be worried about it if she has a gel manicure she should not worry about getting cancer is that what you're saying? That is correct uh, right now according to our knowledge and according to few published papers most importantly a paper in December last year these lights do not emit enough energy and they're not as dangerous if they're used with, with caution. Well, you just put a lot of ladies' minds at ease. Are there any preventative steps that people can take to make sure they're healthy, doctor? They're healthy or they're using these gels? Yes, just, you know, if they're using the gels, anything yes. they need to do? Well, they were recommended to use either uh, s sunscreen when they do the massage before uh, the curing, or okay. they can wear gloves which uh, uh, basically cut off at the nails, at the fingernails. Okay. Uh, I'm actually more concerned with the gels, with the acetone soaking, uh, because it really dries the nails. So it uses a lot of brittleness, um, and uh, the nail can get very, very weak. Okay, well, you've, got, you've given us so much information, but uh, for now, no, no reason to panic. That's <laughs> correct. Okay, Dr. Edit Olaz, we appreciate you being with us on sure. Wisconsin.